Thank you, Deputy President. My adjournment matter is for the Premier. A big problem with hate speech laws is that they apply when you don't really need them and don't apply when you do. Severe cases of vilification are those cases backed by a majority or by a government. Those are the cases where protection is most needed but where it's least available. For weeks, the people protesting this government have been smeared and shamed. They've suffered a media that cares more about spectacle than it does about truth, and a government that cares more about power than about honesty. We've had repeated claims of violent protests when in fact they are the opposite. Resistance to the pandemic response is not a single perspective with a single motivation. They aren't the violent, far-right, extremist, wing nut anti-vax losers that this government is pretending that they are. There are people protesting the, violent, the violation of consent and the use of coercion to force vaccination. There are people protesting the closure of businesses that have been built with years of hard work. There are people protesting because they've lost their job or have fallen out of a lifelong career. There are people be protesting being shut in their homes and isolated from their families. There are people protesting the violence of the police and shutting down other, other protests. They are the Bar Association, the Law Institute, the Centre for Public Integrity, the Human Rights Law Centre and Liberty Victoria. The vigil in front of this parliament is closer to a hippie music festival than a mob of violent thugs. It's true that small numbers of people are angry to the point of aggression. They are frustrated by a government that uses violence against them and against which they have no way to defend themselves. They are on the steps because the government has taken away their jobs and their right to work. They've been backed into a corner and have nowhere else to go. We condemn threats of violence, but this is just a tiny, tiny fraction of the whole. It's easy for MPs to separate themselves from the consequences of their decisions. They don't feel like they're violent people, but that's only because they have other people to carry out the violence on their behalf. Those on the receiving end of those decisions do not have the same luxury. We should be clear. Every directive enacted under these emergency powers has been an expression of force, an act of violence against Victorians. And many of the protesters on the steps are the ones who have borne the brunt of this violence. I am proud to stand with the protesters on the steps, with the many tens of thousands of people who have been protesting the pandemic legislation and with the millions of Victorians who oppose it. I call on the Premier and his government to cease the vilification of protesters that are only resisting this government's use of force against them.